Welcome to this house of books. We have with us today, John Cromley. Thank you, Mark. It's and, great to be here. Yeah, and John, you have a you have a new book, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Great. First of all, though, I'd like to hear just a little bit about you. You were born and raised in Billings, as I understand. I was. Yep. Yeah. I was born and raised in Billings, and graduated from Billings Senior High. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and how about college? Yeah, so uh, after high school, I went to Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, and then I moved to Washington, D.C. after that, where I worked for Senator Baucus for about five years. Um, after that, I kind of got out of politics and uh, moved back to Missoula, where I got my MFA at University of Montana. Uh -huh. um, after that, I st stuck around Missoula for an extra year or so, and then eventually moved to Chicago, where I live now. Um, and I'm an English professor with the City Colleges of Chicago, specifically Kennedy King College, which is on the south side of Chicago. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. But my folks still live here in Billings, so I come back at least a couple times a year, and, and I'm always keeping my, my finger on the pulse of what's happening in Billings, for sure. Now, I think your, your parents are uh, pretty well known around the community. Yeah, they, 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 I think they are. They've been around for a while, so. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell us about your new book. I think you have it in that pile. Sure, there. it's Let's somewhere see. in here. Huh. Okay, so this is uh, the new book. It's called The Prince of Infinite Space. And uh, it, it just was released yesterday okay. uh, it, by Propertius Press, which is a press based out of Virginia. Um, it is a novel that basically picks up um, where my first novel left off or a couple years later. So it's a sequel, but not the kind where you really need to have read the initial book to, to be able to follow along with it. Okay. Yeah. It's set in 1990, um, uh, it, you know, kind of right as the nation is on the brink of the uh, first Gulf War. Oh. Yeah. And uh, Kirby Rousseau is the protagonist, who's from Billings as well. Um, he has actually, though, uh, been sent to military academy in Bismarck, North Dakota. So it, it kind of picks up, he's 17 years old, and the, the novel picks up with him just beginning his senior year at Milica Military Academy in, in Bismarck. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I haven't seen this book yet. Sure. Well, it's brand new. It's, brand it's new. practically I mean, nobody, still steaming from yet. the press. So this, is, this, exactly. is, this is it. This is the yeah. launch. Yep. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, tell us a little bit more about the book. Well, without going into, you know, spoilers too much, um, uh, Kirby is, uh, seems to have found his calling, um, mm -hmm. which has helped him kind of quell some of the demons that have been haunting him in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and his calling is the school newspaper. Um, he goes into his senior year expecting to perhaps become the executive editor of the school newspaper. And when that doesn't happen, he kind of reverts to uh, some of his more, as he puts it, aberrant behaviors. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, he, at the at the initially, his, he, he's kind of unfocused in his hell raising um, until his long lost and father, who he'd never met before, shows up on campus with a scheme to uh, basically go to Chicago to meet some of his other family members. Kirby, lacking any other better options, decides to uh, go along with. Oh, so okay. it's a bit of a road trip story where they, he and this father he never knew drive across country to Chicago. Um, Kirby has an ulterior motive for running away as well because he believes his long lost girlfriend is in Chicago and he's hoping to track her down there. Okay. All right. Well, this is, um, you know, one of the questions that I think authors often find difficult is where should we shelf this book in a bookstore, you know? <laughs> yes. And, um, we have it actually shelved right here with mm -hmm. uh, young adult fiction. Mm -hmm. okay. um, of course, my contention is that well-written literature is always good for everybody. Yes, yes. Right? 
Absolutely. Yeah. So um, we also have it uh, uh, stocked just across the store here on uh, mm -hmm. our members only bookshelf. Yeah. Great. So, uh, uh, but that would be where people can find it. Yes, it would be. I, you know, it's interesting with this one and with my first one, The Last Good Halloween, who has the same uh, protagonist. I think they often fall into that category, young adult or new adult, I think is a, a genre that, that gets talked about now. I never wrote them with that uh, audience or, or that kind of genre in mind. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like they've co kind of always rested a little uneasily between kind of young adult and, and just kind of adult fiction. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, it's funny, we were talking about where they would belong on with shelves and and to be honest, I don't know which shelf yes, they belong right. on. Um, you know, people often ask me, is this young adult? And my first response is, what is young adult fiction? I don't, I don't know, because as yeah. you said, good fiction could really appeal to everybody. Of course. Yeah. 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 Well, it's accessible. Mm -hmm. And it features a uh, young protagonist. Yes. So I guess that would be. Y yes, that seems to be the major be. Yeah, criteria. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've mentioned the other book a couple of times. Mm -hmm. let's, let's just hold that sure. up and, and sure. just see. So we have the same here, protagonist here, here and uh, The Last Good Halloween. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have another book, too, that uh, I do. we ought to, ought to get to mention. Sure, yeah. sure, absolutely. Here it is. It is uh, What We Build Upon the Ruins. Okay. It's a collection of short stories. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good. Well, I don't usually get to ask authors this, but I'm going to ask you now, just to, just, I'm going to ask you uh, if there are other books in the bookstore that mm -hmm. you might recommend, the things that you like here too. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, there most definitely are. Okay. Uh, as with, in any bookstore, I walk in and I almost guaranteed to walk out with at least one book, if not more. So uh, today will be no exception to that. I, did, I love it when authors are able to give a recommendation for yeah, they like. Absolutely, so, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so I, I actually, I think uh, I probably went a little overboard here, but I've got <laughs> four that I'd like to talk about if that's okay. Sure. Okay, great. So the first one is one I think that, you know, you really can't, you know, they take away your Montana card if you haven't read it, all right? <laughs> Dancing at the Rascal Fair by Ivan Doig. Here is a, a, a serious disclosure I have to make. I had not read this book until just that last year. So a little bit of an, an embarrassment on my part, but I now have read it, so I'm, I'm okay. Well, Ivan Doig's book, uh, This House of Sky, is the, you know, this is where we spun the name for the bookstore, exactly. This House of Books. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So Ivan Doig. Yeah, I was glad to see the whole collection up there. And it really was, you know, I'd been hearing about this book my whole life, and. I think maybe kind of pretending I'd read it when people asked me. Uh, so now I don't have to pretend anymore and I can legitimately say it is a tremendous, tremendous book. So that's really, really great. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next book I have here is uh, Come West and See by Maxim Loskatov. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. I've only ever read it. Um, okay. This is an interesting, it's a great collection of stories. The sentences just sizzle in the way they're written. It's, it's really remarkable. Um, I first read this book when I was judging for the High Plains Book Award because previous nominees get to judge the next set of uh, books in that category. And so, yes. um, so I had read this and just, I'd never heard of him before, I'd never heard of the collection before, and I was just kind of really, really blown away by the, the, the power and the words in that book. Interesting. Yeah. That award, by the way, is one that has just really grown in stature. Over Immensely, so yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It it's really is. Tremendous literature. Yeah, yeah, it makes me so happy whenever I see the nominees come out, and sometimes they're people I know, so mm -hmm. I feel really mm -hmm. proud about that. Yeah. Um, this next one, speaking of the High Plains Book Award, this next one is actually, I believe, a finalist. Uh, this is Craig Lancaster's, and it will be A Beautiful Life. Um, I actually just picked this one up last time I was in the store. Um, I have not read it, but I'm recommending it based on the fact that I am currently reading Craig's next book that comes out. It has not yet been released, so I feel it's a little bit of a brag that I'm getting a chance to get a sneak preview. Um, it is so good. Mm -hmm. There is something true on every page when he writes. 
and sometimes more than one thing. And so I, I am just always a sucker for when I read a book like that. So um, it, if what I'm reading now is anything like this one, and I suspect it is, uh, I can easily recommend this without having started reading it yet. Well, I've read it, and I can second the recommendation. Okay, good, you good. very good, very good. And then the, the last one I have is actually, uh, this is uh, another local author, Carrie Lassour, who was just here a moment ago. Yes. Um, the Weight of an Infinite Sky. Um, this is actually the one that I'm walking out of here with today. So, I mean, I'm going to pay for it. I'm not just going to stick in my pocket. But uh, I've known Carrie, uh, you know, through social media and through through kind of um, mutual friends for years. And I've been meaning to kind of really dig into her work. So I'm yeah. excited to start this Fantastic. one as well. Another great choice. I can tell you. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. pretty hefty stack of books here. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks, Jano. I really uh, enjoyed it. Yeah, thank this you. Is, so did I, Mark. Yeah, yeah, great. Thanks. Okay. This has been a production of This House of Books.